I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, tattoo brows? That's what I thought too. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slayerella. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, right now I am feeling very, very, very just, I feel like I'm naked, like I'm in front of the class with no pants on. I really don't have that much of a brow to begin with. So when I got lashes and I got lipstick and I got a contour going on and I don't have eyebrows on, it feels very, very weird. I feel like there's a piece of that's gone. You know how some girls need their lashes and some girls need you know, their, their highlighter. I'm a girl and I need my eyebrows. When I find a brow product like this, it excites me. Today, we are testing out the Tattoo Studio Brow from Mabel. Now, what this brow product claims to be is a brow gel. The way that the directions kind of explain it is it's almost like a brow gel that is meant to fill in your brows as well. So it's like a two-in-one Girl, if you can take one last step out of my day, out of my makeup routine, I am down. What this brow product claims to do is not last for 12 hours like most. No, it claims to last for two days. First of all, if you're wearing your brows or any type of makeup for more than two days, we need to have a conversation. There's no reason you need to have your eyebrows or any makeup on for two days. Also, if you guys have had this happen to you, please let me know. I lack eyebrows, but what I have done before, legit, I've been like, oh, my eyebrow itches and I forget I'm wearing eyebrows and I will literally itch my eyebrow and half my eyebrow will be gone. And then in that moment, you think, should I... <laughs> Do this and even it out, try to just leave it. This brow product also claims to be smudge proof, waterproof, what else proof? I'll just read you guys what it says on the back. So what the box says is get brows for days. It says new waterproof brow gel lasts up to two days, ultra resistant formula, adheres to brows for a no hassle wear, does not transfer, does not smudge, and is waterproof. So it says waterproof twice, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna test it out. I got water, so we tested it out. So take it out of the package. This product holds 0.23 fluid ounces. I have a brow mascara that I actually have from Wet n Wild that is actually the same amount of product. It does come in four shades. Blonde, it comes in soft brown, medium brown, and then uh, like a dark brown. I am using medium brown. Online, there weren't really that many reviews on it because it is newer from Maybelline, but the one review that was online on the actual Maybelline website was a one star so I'm hoping this works it retails for $12.99 and this is what she looks like she is a doe foot applicator smells like a chemical let me smell this is my wet and wild brow mascara it, they smell the same. It smells like a chemical. There's no perfume in it or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out today. It does come with the spoolie, but that's why I was wondering why the spoolie wasn't actually like on the applicator, but that's why I'm thinking it's more of like kind of a two-in-one. They want you to apply this to your actual brow, and then they want you to brush through. Even though it wants me to do something, I wanna do it my way just to make sure that the brow product works. Obviously, for those people that don't need to like really like fill in a lot or like shape a lot like I do. I think going in with this would be fine, but I am going to take an angled brush. This is just from, it's actually Milani eyebrow brush and it comes in my like little pomades, but I really, really like this brush a lot. It's like the perfect size. Um, I can't use the spoolie because it's covered in Elmer's glue from when I had, you know, all my drag moments during Halloween. I'm going to kind of push it on the back of my hand. I'm going to dip into the back of my hand and we'll go ahead and work her in and see how it goes. All right, right off the bat, it is not super, super pigmented, which may not be such a bad thing. We'll see if it's buildable. All right, so I just got my one eyebrow done. The only downside is if the product isn't dry and you're trying to go over it, you kind of lift the product with more product and it doesn't really lay down evenly. I do really, really enjoy it for the beginning of my eyebrow. It doesn't lay the product down so harshly in the beginning of my eyebrow. Do I think it's a one star application wise? No, I don't think it's a one star. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow quick.
but I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this product is not a bad product it's just obviously this is a day and night difference compared to what your girl looked like when she started to what she looks like now because obviously I don't claim to be like the brow queen I don't claim to just have like these, these like perfect eyebrows but we'll go ahead and we'll let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll see and then we'll get to the fun part with the water the smudging while you guys are waiting you can go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in just I'm gonna wipe off the back of my hand with a makeup wipe just so you guys know that I'm not gonna put brow products on my, the back of my hand and then you know go ahead and dry off my hand I'm going to go along my brow and there is right there a perfect eyebrow you can see my eyebrow I mean obviously my eyebrow is still there which means you know it got on there but it's not transfer proof no right there guys literally you can see the eyebrow that is not transfer proof. Just gonna throw it out there. That is so funny. All right, next test says that it is smudge proof. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean, you can see guys, it is clean, clean Q-tip. Okay, so it's not smudging, but it's completely gone. So next test, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour a little bit of water into my cap go ahead and soak up the water. It is wet guys, see it is leaving water on my hand. It doesn't come off as much with water as it did with the dry, which makes me think that it is definitely more water resistant than it is smudge proof. I have no idea how something like that is even possible, but it is. You can definitely see that this brow has been completely destroyed by all the things that this brow product claimed. Really like the fact that it is a brow gel and a brow filler kind of all in one. The transferring, like guys, you can see that there's an eyebrow on my hand. I think that it lasting for two days might be a little bit of a stretch because I feel like if I went to sleep and went like this, it would be gone. Using the word tattoo, probably not a really good thing, but get the marketing, I get the product, but I'm gonna keep using it, I paid for it. I actually really like it, I like the color, I like how it applies. I don't think tattoo, two day, waterproof, smudge proof, transfer proof is really the right way to describe it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep using it because like I said, I do like it. I don't think it's a bad brow product by any means. If you guys tried it and you like it, let me know. If you've tried it and you've hated it, let me know as well. But tattoo, brows at home is a fact. Is it fiction? If you want tattooed brows, go ahead and just get microblading. But for the time being, you're just going to have to draw them on at home. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.